Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do in Layout Editor is upload the license file. Now as a quick reminder, if you don't already have the license file, you must ask QNF staff for a copy of the license file. We, remember, we can only give you the license if you're a QNF user. And once you have it, we su I suggest that you go ahead and just save it to your desktop for convenience. And then to upload it, we'll we will go to Help, Register License, and Load. And then just go ahead and find wherever you saved it. I saved it on my desktop. We'll select that guy, that Layout Editor License file there. Open. And then it'll tell us restart to enable all the new features. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click OK. And X out of that. Load it up again. And there we go. So second, let's go ahead and set our display. Now in Windows, what we'll do is we'll click Utilities, Setup, and then we'll come up to here where it says display. So that was utilities, setup, and display. Now you can see here on the right that there are two options. There's a white background option and a black background option. Mine is currently set to the black background, but let's go ahead and take a look at the white background to see if we like that better. So I'm going to click the white background. It's going to load some settings here, and then we'll click OK. And now you can see that the tone here reverses. You've got a white background with black dots, whereas previously we had a black background with white dots. And really using this is just a matter of preference. It's not going to change anything in your design. So if you're using Mac, instead of uh, utilities setup and display, you should be able to click a button that says layout editor at the top left of your page, and then go to setup and display from there. I'm using Windows, so this is what I have available. So utilities, setup, and I'm going to change it back to a black background because that's what I prefer. Okay. 